Hey guys, welcome back to the DNA Medical Series. This is your girl Nikki, and today I'll be telling you guys or showing you guys how to properly put on a condom. Hmm. So I have two here today. So this one is a Trojan Magnum, mm -hmm. and this one has no name at all. It's just plain. I hope you guys can see that. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys, and what you're gonna need. Is these your dingling yeah and I'm gonna use two things to do be my dingling today and I'm gonna use this cucumber and I'm gonna use this lotion bottle to show you guys or to tell you guys that don't let anybody fool you that oh I'm too big for a condom or I'm too small for a condom it doesn't matter so I'm gonna start by measuring so here I have my tape measure uh -huh. So let's measure. And he's about five inches. Hope you guys can see that. He's about five inches. And I'm gonna measure this guy. Here. And this guy is about 8.5 inches. Hope you guys can see that. 8.5 inches in length and as you can see this is thicker in width than this is so i'm going to just demonstrate with both of them and i'm going to use the the oprah method so the oprah method has three o's well no two o's three p's one r one a and one h so it's a super easy method that i used to remember how to do it and i'm going to start by telling you so we use condoms when we're trying to prevent pregnancy we're trying to prevent stds and all of that remember that condoms are not a hundred percent effective in anything Absin abstinence is the most and the most accurate way of preventing pregnancies and std so the first thing that we first owe in oprah is to observe so you pick it up and you observe so you observe for any ex the expiry date, you observe for any tears, you observe for the type that you're using because this one used for the bigger types. So you make sure that it's not expired, it's not tear open any at all because what's the purpose if it's already teared open? So the next thing you're gonna do is open. The next O is open. So O, first O, observe, second O, open. So you're going to see there's a smooth edge and there is a raggedy edge. So you know when you're opening a snack, the raggedy edge is what? You can tear it. So do not cut it with a scissors. Do not use any sharp objects. It's there, the raggedy edge or there for you to tear it. And you tear it open. The raggedy edge gives you the direction to open it. So you tear it open. This. So I tore it open like this. So the first P remember we said there's three p's is position so you're going to position it the way you can so you can roll it down easily so this tip the tip side should be upwards so if it wasn't like this and you put it down you notice the tip is inwards you don't want the tip to be inwards you want it to be outwards like this so when you roll it down you still have space up here okay so the first p is position so the next p is place so i'm gonna place this on my stimulated thingy so here you can see here so i am putting it on placing it on look as you can see oh no hopefully my fingers are not blocking it so so the first piece is position, the second piece place, place it on your thing, and then the third piece is pinch. So I'm going to pinch the top hair, pinch this to hold so I can get area where the semen or is it like ejaculation is going to remain in. So you want this piece up here. So you pinch it and the next, the R is to roll. So the next thing you do is just roll this down. So you get some space here, and then this, you just roll down. And you roll it down all the way to the base. You see? Completely covered like that. 
The A now is for action. So you complete your action. The H is holding at the base. So when you're trying to eject yourself, when the male is trying to eject yourself, or if you're helping him to eject, you hold it at the base here, and you basically eject yourself like this. And then you're gonna quickly roll it up. Remember, we rolled it down, so you're rolling it back up. You know, this is empty, so it's harder. There's no fluid to help bring it up. So, I roll it up, roll it up, roll it up to remove it. And then you can just hold here with the content. And then you just quickly roll it off like this. And you hold that. Some people will then wrap this up in a towel, like a toilet paper or a tissue paper, or some people just tie it. Tie it or roll it up and you're good to go. So as I said before guys, I put this one on and as you can see, it fit quite well. It came all the way down to the bottom. Not sure if you guys can see that, but you can see that the plastic is on. It is on. So don't let anybody fool you to tell you guys, oh, I'm too big for it. They are sizes for extra large men and they're sizes for everybody. So always use protection. Look at this. And I want to thank my friend, Dr. Shanika Howard for my nails. You can see my nails are super cool. She did these all by herself from scratch. She's super talented. So I want to shout out to her. Hey girl, shout out to Shanika for her nails. And that's it for this video and if you want any other content that you would like to know some more information about drop them in the comment section below and i'll do a video for you guys because we're here to help so that's it for today's video until next time see you soon bye like comment share and subscribe